not less than 10 minutes ago, we arrested a detention officer. This was an ongoing investigation. This detention officer who was hired in October of 2019 recently worked with inmates and some folks on the outside and attempted to bring fentanyl and methamphetamine into the jail. We know through the evidence in the investigation, and we have strong reason to believe this was his first attempt, uh, exceptional work by our investigators put them in a position to intercept him before he brought the dr drugs into the jail. Um, the, dr uh, the drugs have been tested and tested positive for both methamphetamine and fentanyl. The estimated pill count is probably close to about 100 pills. I will never, ever, ever allow for any employee to act in any way that defies the integrity of this office, that endangers the inmate population for whom we're responsible, that jeopardizes the safety of the very colleagues they stand next to when they deal with these issues, and to think that not only would it potentially have cost health or life to the people inside the, the jail system, but the idea that maybe one of our employees could have come in contact with this fentanyl and had a health condition or an emergency of some sort, even potentially death, um, is without a doubt the most egregious act in, in violation of, of a pact of colleagues who are supposed to stand by each other and keep a community safe. I'm disgusted. But in the jails, we have seen more overdoses than, um, than is acceptable at any level. There's no overdose that is acceptable, but we've had in 2022, 172 inmates were taken to the hospital or, um, through correctional health services because of drug-related overdose incidents. 17 of the in-custody deaths that were the result of overdose of drugs were a major contributing factor. 194 inmates were tested, and they tested positive through urinalysis for some type of drug, and of that 194, 114 inmates tested positive for fentanyl. So as a sheriff, I have to make some difficult decisions, and the decision that I'm making today, and I don't want to say that it's difficult, it's just uncomfortable for some, not for me. I can't exist as the head of an office knowing that we aren't doing everything reasonable and humanly possible to ensure that drugs aren't coming into our jails. Um, I have spoken to my colleagues over at the county, and it's, this conversation has been going on for a little while, but I am at a stage now where I think it's not only important but appropriate that we purchase scanning machines so that every individual who enter, enters our jail, whether it be staff, volunteers, um, anybody and everyone who enters into the secured population will be checked to determine if we can mitigate and intercept any potential contraband coming into the jail. That's a pretty significant step and, and you know, the biggest challenge in it is a lot of employees will feel like this is a trust issue, that, that I'm questioning whether they can be trusted. That is not at all the case, but we live in a society where you know, humans are flawed and failed and we uh, see good people do bad things and bad things happen. And if we truly want to be a drug-free, safe jail system, we have to take every step possible. And that means demanding that our employees become comfortable with the idea that we should be checking them as they enter too, as well as everyone else.